the air back that's more friendly, and we're gonna look at chapter 11 today. Um, if you remember in chapter 10 that you guys read last, that is when we, it's called Freedom of the Press, when Judy Morgan, a reporter from, <clears throat> excuse me, from the Westfield Gazette, the local newspaper, she came and visited school and she um, tried to talk to as many people as she could to find out about this whole friendle thing. Um, she ended up talking to uh, the principal, she talked to Mrs. Granger, and then she was looking around for Nick and she couldn't find him. So. Let's see what happens. Chapter 11, this one's called Extra Extra Read All About It. On Thursday morning, the Westfield Gazette was delivered to all 12,297 homes and post offices in Westfield. The story about Lincoln Elementary School was the first item on the front page. And the headline? Local fifth grader says, move over, Mr. Webster. It was quite an article. Not that Judy Morgan didn't tell the truth, Every statement in the article was completely true. It was the particular way she told the truth that got things hopping around town. For example, take the sentence about Mrs. Granger. Mrs. Granger, champion of the forces of order and authority, is battling hundreds of young frindle fighters. Neither side is giving in. Or this bit about Nicholas. Everyone agrees that Allen masterminded this plot that cleverly raises issues about free speech and academic rules. He is the boy who invented the new word. Or this last sentence in the article. One thing is for sure, the kids at Lincoln Elementary School love their friendles, and no one seems to be backing off in this war of the words. And of course, the Westfield Gazette published the class picture too, and Mrs. Granger and Nick were identified for all the world to see. What is the meaning of this? That's what Nick's mother said, putting the article in front of Nick's nose when he got home from school. Did you talk to this reporter? She seems to know an awful lot about you and your new word, young man. What is the meaning of this? That's the school superintendent. That's what the school superintendent said to Mrs. Chatham, slapping a copy of the article onto her desk. Why did you have to talk to that reporter? Don't we have enough trouble getting the taxpayers to pay for the schools without articles like this banging around town? What is the meaning of this? That's what Mrs. Chatham had said to Mrs. Granger, shaking the newspaper in front of her face. I know you had to talk to that woman, but did you have to say all of these things? It'll be a wonder if we don't all get fired. It was quite a Thursday for everyone, and no one could figure out how Judy Morgan had gotten that fifth grade class picture. I wonder, do you have any ideas how she might have gotten that picture? Make a prediction. What do you think? Have to find out next.